Kendall Jenner really needs no introduction. She's been on television sharing her life since she was a little girl, so in many ways she grew up in front of the world's eyes. But she decided to build her own career in modeling, and now she's one of the highest paid models in the world. Kendall's family has massive amounts of money, but she's built her own fortune too. So let's find out just how much she has and what she likes to spend her money on. This is Kendall Jenner's net worth, lifestyle, and how she spends her millions. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. That way we can keep you updated when we post anything. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Her career. Kendall Jenner is one of the highest paid models in the world. Her family might have opened up some doors for her, but she has still come a pretty long way on her own. She started modeling when she was just 14 years old, and her career keeps growing, and she keeps getting bigger and bigger gigs. She's had a lot of magazine covers and has walked in some of the most high-profile runway shows. She's even booked campaign gigs for massive brands and became a representative for beauty brands like Estee Lauder. She has done adverts for many brands as well. Now, admittedly, some of those ads have gotten Kendall into some big trouble with fans, like the Pepsi advert that went very, very wrong. But most of her advertisements are beautiful, and they work really well. Other business ventures. Besides shining in front of the camera, lately, Kendall has been doing quite a bit of work behind the camera as well. For one magazine shoot, she styled and photographed Kaya Gerber. She has also authored some books with her sister Kylie and a ghostwriter. Along with many of her family members, Kendall has started a variety of lucrative business ventures. She has clothing lines, beauty lines, jewelry lines, perfume lines, and even mobile apps. And now, she has even started a tequila company. This has been full of controversies already, and it has only just launched. But overall, Kendall has a lot of companies that bring in a lot of money for the 25-year-old. Social media. Kendall Jenner also has a massive following on her social media accounts, and she regularly posts on them. She isn't as open about her life as some of her family members are, but she does share quite a bit of what she's doing. And her massive following on social media has also become pretty lucrative. She receives thousands of dollars for sponsored posts on social media. That means that social media alone brings in a lot of money for her every year. So, just about how much money does Kendall Jenner have? Kendall Jenner's net worth. Kendall has a pretty substantial net worth of her own. She has an estimated net worth of around $45 million. Now, she comes from a family that has many billions of dollars between them, so she might not be as rich as some of her siblings, but I don't think she's struggling at all. But I guess if she does ever need any extra cash, there should be someone in her family that will have a dollar to spare. Her family members. Kendall seems to be pretty close to all of her family members. This is great since she comes from a massive family. She's the daughter of Kris Jenner and retired athlete Caitlyn Jenner, but both of her parents have a number of kids from previous relationships as well. She has one younger sister, Kylie, and eight half-siblings. From the Jenner side of the family, she has three brothers, Bert, Brandon, Brandon and Brody, and one sister named Casey. And from the Kardashian side, she has three sisters, Courtney, Kim, and Chloe, and one brother, Rob. And from all of them, she has loads of nieces and nephews. Kendall has said that one of the hardest parts of her job is being away from her family members for long periods of time, but they like to travel together and spend a lot of time together. Kendall's relationships. Kendall tends to keep her relationships more private, so we don't always know who she's dating at the moment, but we do know that she has dated a lot of a-list celebrities and some incredible athletes through the years. On Valentine's Day, she went Instagram official with Devin Booker, a 24-year-old NBA player for the Phoenix Suns. There have been rumors flying about the two for almost a year, and ever since then, both have posted a lot of sweet messages and photos, so the relationship might be pretty serious already. Her struggles with anxiety. Kendall has been very open about her struggles with anxiety for many years, and recently she has opened up about these problems even more. She said that there are times that she has so much anxiety that she feels like she can't get out of bed. And then, her mom, Chris, who's also her manager, has to give her tough love and remind her that there's work to do. She's mentioned that she has had to fight against anxiety and panic attacks ever since she was a young girl. And all of the time, she has been stalked by many random men, and her house has been broken into by them. Can't have helped her condition. This just goes to show that it doesn't matter who you are. There are always your own set of problems to deal with. But besides these, she seems to have a pretty great life. So, let's look at some of the things that she spends her money and time on. Art. She really loves art and has been known to attend a lot of art events where she can even buy some of the pieces for her home. She has loads of expensive and valuable pieces in her home that include sculptures, artworks, and photographs. But she doesn't just stick with collecting art. She also really enjoys painting and creating art as well. In a recent home tour, she showed fans the room in her house that used to be a cinema room, but she decided she would rather convert it into an art studio. It's any artist's 
Stream Studio. It seems to have lots of light and any piece of art supply you could ever wish for. She says that she doesn't think she's a very good artist, but she does love to do it, and it's a form of therapy for her. Real estate. She needs a place to put all of those art pieces, and she has owned some pretty incredible homes as well. Her first home was a condo in Westwood, California, and she has been steadily going up to bigger and better homes ever since. She bought a Hollywood Hills home from John Krasinski and Emily Blunt, but it was pretty exposed, and she might not have felt very safe. During her time there, she had a bunch of stalking incidents in the home, which ended up with 911 calls and police involvement. Now, she lives in a Beverly Hills home in Mulholland Estate. It's a pretty stunning home, and the interior is very homey. She uses earthy colors, and the house has a pretty warm vibe. One big expense Kendall has is adding on to her car collection. She seems to have a real love for cars and has a massive collection. She even has some seriously impressive vintage cars as well, like the 1957 Chevrolet Corvette convertible that she bought herself on her birthday in 2015. She had it completely restored, but she kept all of the original designs, for example, the AM radio and the little rear view mirror, or the powerful 1965 Ford Mustang convertible that she drives pretty regularly. It's still powered by its V8 engine, and of course, the stunning car is red. Or the beautiful lilac-colored 1960s Cadillac Eldorado with its white wall tires and even a 1969 Chevy Camaro SS convertible that is heavily customized. Like I said, she spent a lot of money on some incredible classic cars, but she doesn't just drive classic cars exclusively. Every so often, a girl needs to drive in the comfort that a modern luxury car can provide, and she has plenty of those in her collection too. She started with a Range Rover on her 16th birthday, but has since then upgraded to a newer luxury black model a few years later. She also has a very custom Rolls-Royce Wraith, and what about the time she went to look at a Ferrari 488 Spider? She had always wanted one because she really likes Kylie's 458 Spider, so when she spotted a 488 in a showroom, she decided to buy it right there and then. Then she sent Kylie a photo of her new car, and Kylie loved it so much that she went out and bought herself a new 488 too. Just imagine having enough money to go out and buy a Ferrari 488 a spider on a whim without any planning at all. Must be nice. These might not even be the only cars in Kendall's collection either. It seems like she loves beautiful cars, so she might be adding to the collection soon. Travel. Kendall and her entire family are regularly seen taking some incredible holidays and vacations. Even her career takes her to some of the most exotic spots on earth. And when Kendall is traveling for pleasure, then it's safe to say that these holidays will probably be a pretty big expense. She stays in the most luxurious places that are available wherever she goes, and the places she does go are expensive already. And getting there isn't cheap either. None of the Kardashians or the Jenners ever travel by commercial flights, not if they can help it anyway. It doesn't seem like any of them own their own aircrafts yet, so for now, they'll all hire planes to travel. Kendall also loves to take friends with her on holiday, and rumors say she normally pays for all of them as well, so that doesn't help in cutting down costs. Kendall lives a full life, with many other hobbies like horse riding that fill her time when she isn't working. She she is a busy woman with a lot going on and a lot of money to show for all of her efforts too. Thanks for watching.